This video is a retrofit guide for upgrading legacy LXME controllers to LXME2 and LXME2 Pro. First, let's take a look at the existing modules. The LXME2 is only compatible with 12 station modules, whereas here we see an 8 station and a 4 station module. Let's remove these station modules. We can use either one of these 12 station modules. In this example, we'll use the one with screw terminals. Next, remove the ribbon cable. Remove the LXME faceplate by gently pushing down on the bottom hinge, then pulling out the faceplate. Install the new LXME2 faceplate in the reverse order, again applying gentle force to the bottom hinge. Finally, plug in the ribbon cable. Next, we will upgrade the LXME2 to the LXME2 Pro Smart Module. The Pro Smart Module enables a second booster pump output programmable by station and flow sensing capabilities. We'll open the front panel and remove the existing zero slot module. Then we'll insert the Pro Smart Module and now we can add an additional booster pump and flow sensing to our irrigation system. Finally, we'll retrofit an LXMEF to LXME2 Pro. Let's open up the cabinet and take a look at our modules. One thing to note is that the LXME2 Pro only works with 12 station modules, so if we had any 8 station or 4 station modules, we would need to replace those. It doesn't matter which module you use, as long as it's a 12 station module. The second thing we need to look at is our zero slot module. This is the FlowSmart module, and it only allows one master valve. The new ProSmart module, on the other hand, supports a master valve, an additional booster pump output, and flow sensing capabilities. So we will replace the FlowSmart module with the ProSmart module. Next, we'll remove the ribbon cable and the front panel. We'll do the reverse to insert the LXME2 front panel. Next, we'll plug in the ribbon cable. And we should see that all of the modules are recognized and the LXME2 Pro is set up and ready to go. The next step is transferring over the programs. Insert a 9-volt battery into the LXMEF faceplate and copy the programs into the LXME2 faceplate. A program summary can be found within the Test All Stations Check System Dial Position in the LXMEF. The upgrade to LXME2 is complete. The controller can also be programmed using IQ4 Central Control.